Let's dive in and use the PlexTrack platform to rapidly generate a penetration testing report and also provide a collection of data, including hosts and findings that people can interact with as well. I've created a client called Example Company. We'll create a new penetration test report. We're going to assign it a report template. I'll assign it to myself. And let's give it a start and end date. We'll also put in the data to custom fields that we can use for short codes later. I've selected this template and I can rapidly begin filling in perhaps an attack narrative section. But let's utilize our content library to take in one of our narratives. If we look at the sections for this report, we have some of the typical data like introduction methodology. Because of this pen test, I have an attack narrative that I want to add in. I'm going to grab it from my narratives DB. Notice we use this concept of short codes throughout stored content. For this report, for all of my reports, I want the attack chain write up to go, let's say, maybe right after the methodology. Here I can rapidly begin adding data in and get our evidence screenshots. Copy and paste it right in. This is just an example of a typical attack scenario. Writing down proof of concept section. Example commands have been given. Your methodology may vary, but you get the Now we've got this robust attack scenario. By using short codes in stored text, we can rapidly replace them with their subsequent values. Here we see in the report, as well as the attack scenario section. Or place these short codes. Now moving on to findings. Perhaps I've got some automated tooling running, some vulnerability assessment scans, but I'm also going through and doing what a good pen tester does, finding manual finding. I've decided to add a finding manually to my write-ups database. I'm going to find the SQL injection flaw that I found, keeping in mind that um, I could add this data directly from Burp if I were so inclined, but this is an example of using the write-ups database to add manual. In this case, I want to edit the finding. I'm going to decide that this is a critical flaw. I'm also going to decide to go in and add the evidence manually to the finding itself. Keep in mind, again, this is really for demonstration purposes, if you were so inclined. If you wanted to find this data directly from a tool, this could be coming in directly from a Burp or an Acunetics or any kind of tool. This is just showing you the manual workflow. Again, go to our readout sections here. We added our finding, got our evidence. Now working with the finding, I can come in, make sure that we like it. We can get that full QA peer review workflow in this process. Now, perhaps we also want to add some context. I didn't save this comment. Mm. We can also ingest from common tools and integrations like Cannibal Security Center, HackerOne, Cannibal IO, etc. But for this, I'm just going to pull in a nested file. We could have tagged findings and assets. Now we have all the data we need. In the platform, we could collaborate here. We could work on associating findings and a status. We could mass sign findings a status. You can see you can really collaborate here. Get an idea of what's going on. As I log in, I could sort by substatus. All of this data has been built in, but we also Forgot one of our situations here. The ability to use short codes within findings as well. Make sure we replace that. Now we can generate our report. Keep in mind that PlexTrack offers the ability to have stock templates from us, but our customer success team can work to engineer a template that really fits your needs and is exactly what you want to come out of the platform. Let's take a look at a stock template. Here we see our report. We have our sections, our attack proof of concept here. We've moved into the rest of the report, seeing the data, 
breakdown of the information. And lastly, we have our detailed findings. In five minutes or less, you too can have a swanky pen test report. Take care.